Whatever, everybody, I'm Zombie Weasel. This is Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Case 5. Rise from the Ashes. <clears throat> this next sequence of it, I just noticed is he's striking the same pose as in his ID there. <laughs> anyway, this next sequence of events is going to be really complicated. Ugh. Anyway, today the crime. Yeah, sir, I'm in patrolman with General Affairs, sir. Sir? Ow, I can hear you fine, Officer Meekins. I had some bad that day, sir, and sorry I went to the evidence room, sir. I'm already hearing this voice because it doesn't hurt my throat. To do it for a home time. For some reason, doing this does, and I don't know why. <clears throat> Otherwise, I'd be doing the judge's voice too. The guard station in front of the room was empty, sir. So normally, there's a guard at the evidence room. That's right, sir. Because the evidence is kept in the evidence room, sir. Are you annoyed about how many times he says, sir? Now, the office, security officer was none other than Officer Marshall. Marshall? And, sir, I happened to go into the security room monitor. That's when I saw him, sir. A suspicious person in the evidence room. A suspicious, per a suspicious person, sir. Look at my chin, how big it is, sir. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh! I didn't get to read that, I'm sorry, I was too busy reacting to his animation. What the heck is this guy doing? <laughs> so what happened then? After that, sir, I... I... Everything went white. I saw red, I blacked out. And when I came to, I was here in the detention center. How long were you out? Days? Uh, might I ask, what happened to your hand? Sir, there was no one to bandage me, sir. So I did what I could to wrap it up, sir. Bandage on his hand. Just like Miss Sky. Except on his other hand. He had another similarity between this case and the one at the prosecutor's office. First things first. Tell us how you hurt your hand. Well, first off, the victim. Uh, I don't mean to pry, but are you the per 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 the perpetrator? Correct. You killed Detective Bruce Goodman in the evidence room, right? Sir! Please don't look at me with those sad puppy dog eyes, sir. If you have to label me as a perpetrator a victim, sir, then label me victim. Uh, I would, but you happen to be in detention and alive and well with that. That, yeah, well, that's true, sir. I suppose you could say that. Did you know the victim, Detective Goodman? Well, sir, if I had to label him as a stranger or a total stranger, then I'd say he leans heavily on the total stranger side. So you didn't know him? Sir, I work in a tiny department devoid of light or other creature comforts. I don't know any detectives. So if he was a total stranger, why did you stab him? Sir, I had no intention of killing him, sir. None. Nor do I have any recollection of killi killing him, sir. I think someone around here is more confused than I am. So about your hand? Did that happen? For the record, I didn't remember that's how he started his text box there. Just... How I happened to say it! Did that happen during the course of the crime? Well, you see, sir, I, uh... Don't you think you should just confess? But, sir, sir, but... There was nothing I could do! Nothing you could do? Sir, to tell the truth, sir, what did happen? When the detective pointed that knife at me, I just hollered, sir. And the next thing I knew, I was unconscious. The next thing you knew, you were... Huh? Then when I opened my eyes... I was alone in the evidence room, sir. All alone. Alone because... Because Detective Goodman had disappeared. What? Then when I looked down, I was gushing blood from my hand, sir. Oh, the shock. Oh, the sorrow, sir. Can you imagine how I felt? The victim's body... Disappeared? Hmm, that's some story.
Uh, do you think you could take a look at this? That, that's it, sir! That's it! That's it! That's what? I hit with a bike until this very moment! But, sir, now I remember! I remember, sir! You mean you remember what happened? Correct! The card! That card was the card of it all! This ID card? Exactly, sir! That's exactly it! Nothing can be more exact, sir! Nothing! Better pry into this one a little deeper. Give me that eats. Can you tell me what it is you do remember? Well, sir, you might say I'm a lost little patrolman. A lost little lamb, if you will. I didn't know Mr. Goodman... I didn't know Mr. Detective Goodman who was in the evidence room. That's why you thought he looked suspicious? So I entered the evidence room and asked the man to show me his ID card. Well, that sounds pretty much by the book so far. Th that's right, sir. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What did he do? That's the thing! Suddenly he pointed a knife at me! Wh what Sir, I assure you, I was as flustered as you are right now! So I whooped him and leapt at him! Detective Goodman pointed a knife at him. Do unto others before they do unto you! My own father's words, sir! What happened then? Well, my eyes, sir, everything went white. When I awoke, I was here! Right... So, Officer Meekins, why is it they arrested you, sir, 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 sir? What do you mean, Emma? Let's look at what we know. Now, Officer Meekins didn't know Detective Goodman. And the victim who he met at the scene of the crime didn't show his ID card. In other words, we have no way of knowing if, it, if, if the victim was really the victim. And if this body just disappeared from the evidence room, we don't even know if anyone actually died. That's it, sir. That's it, sir! That... That's what I wanted to say! That is, I did say something along those lines! Huh? But you still ended up here. They told me that it had to be him, sir, on that day, at that time. Detective Gunman was definitely in the evidence room. That's what they said! But you don't remember the events clearly? No, but the videotape is quite clear. Huh? Videotape? I'm the security camera! The crime! My crime! The crime I swore to stamp out! It's there! It's me! It's on tape! And you waited until now to tell us this? I'm sorry! Really sorry, sir! I hand over my badge! I don't deserve it! I'm gonna think of it. I don't remember if we ever see him again. This isn't his first appearance. I can't remember where we saw him before. Actually, I might have been in the second game that we would be seeing him for the first time, I think. I don't remember. I believe he's in the anime. It's been a while since I watched it. I, I don't remember. No, thanks. I have my own. I guess we better go check out the crime scene. Well, I guess that's all we need from him. Give my voice a fucking break. <laughs> Ugh. Move it, move it. Hey look, it's a blue badger plushie. February 23rd, police station. Criminal Affairs Department. Hey, Mr. Wright, look who's standing there at the chief detective's desk. It's Police Chief Gant. <sighs> And you're sure this is all? Hmm? You know what it means if there's anything missing. Sure, I'm to Sir, I'm sure it's most likely totally perfect. We checked all of his drawers, lockers, garbage cans, bags, coat pockets, hats. Under his seat cushion, behind his computer monitor, inside his personal coffee machine. I was going to say inside the computer monitor. I see. Well, if anything does turn up, you can call me... You call me right away, do you? Y yes, sir. We'll scour the place again, sir. The chief of detectives looks a little flustered. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, old my boy. How have you been? Swim much? Oh, ho, ho. Chief Gant, reporting for duty, sir. 
Why are you saluting him, Mr. Right? Seems impulsive. Not impulsive, uh... I don't know the word. Nice theme! Edge boy! Uh, is Edgeworth gonna be okay? Oh, where are they? You know, they're doing a little inquiry committee on him. With him. Sounds like an Inquisition. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Bet you guys didn't even expect me to say that. Yeah, well, they had no end of trouble with the boys since last year. You mean, the incident on Gord Lake? Doesn't look good having a top prosecutor sit in the defendant's seat, does it? And you, you got someone else found guilty in that case, right? Right oh On Karma. The legend he was, undefeated in his 40-year career. But in court you fixed it so he was caught for forging evidence. Wait, I didn't do anything wrong. He did forge evidence. In any case, the prosecutor's office is in a bit of turmoil, you might say. Why, they do just about anything to restore their reputation. Now, depending on what the inquiry the committee decides, it could be bad for Worthy. What? Stop right away, I tell you. The detective getting killed on their turf, too, I mean. There being the prosecutors, I assume. Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. Yeah, but what's... But that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two occasions at the same time. That's what it says. What evidence is this? Now, now, Rhino, I can't just give away all our secrets just like that. And this is in particular... Well, it's a little sensitive, and I can't talk about it. I wasn't expecting much anyway. You know, one thing I hate most of all is hiding stuff. Secrets. Can't stand them. But you know, it's a full-time job just keeping the chief of detectives trapped shut. Ah, he was the one you were picking on earlier. Huh? You saw that? Whoops. Wonder what it was that he wanted the chief of police, uh, chief of detectives to do. Let's see if we can kind of discreetly ask him. Me like this. Oh, sorry you had to see that. Uh, what exactly did the chief of police want you to do? I'll see you over there. That's Goodman's desk. He wanted me to check it for anything that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in the trash can. So nothing belonging to Detective Goodman is still here? Of course not. Not. Oh, except for this. What? You kept something. Sure, why not? It's not important. He didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report, but it's only half complete. A lost item? Did Detective Goodman lose something? The date on it is February 21st. Better than know that, just in case. Hmm. I should really get back to investigating the police department crime scene. That the per 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 per. Oh, look at it later. Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Hmm? Well, I never thought the day would come when Reddo asked me for help. I was wondering if we could investigate the evidence room. <laughs> Not right, though. Actually, I'm sorry. I, I don't need to investigate after all. Reddo, please. I do, look do I look like a selfish man? Hey, if anybody asks me, Sir, can I borrow $50? I give them the 50 no problem. Go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's content. Knock yourself out. Just goes to show, you never know until you ask. Also, it's better to beg forgiveness than to ask for... Sometimes it's better to beg forgiveness than to ask for permission. Sometimes. And for you, here, you can borrow this. Uh, hey, this is a detective's ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. Y yes, sir. It's an honor. You just run along and do your best now. Later, folks. Hey, looks pretty cool on my lapel, doesn't it? Just think, a real ID. You seem happy. 
Yes, sir. Because, sir, we're gonna go into the evidence room now, sir. I don't use start! I think this place had a bad influence on the girl. Well. Unai Hammond. There was one right on the door. And we have the ID card from Chief Kent. Let's just walk in. We're going to open. Aha, the card reader is turned off, see? What is that security guard thinking? Howdy, partners. Well, well, what's made my bambino sky so gray? Officer Marshall. Officer Waffle. I'm sorry, Officer Waffle. <laughs> God, I want to play Tail Concerto. Little Panther. So cute. I don't know if I said it before, but Tail Concerto is basically like a furry's wet dream. It's a furry, well, somewhat of an RPG. It's part of a series, I guess. It's really good. It's basically a cat versus dog story, sort of. The better if I listen to the voices, I could probably do impressions of most of them. Can't do the chief, but it's beyond my range. Hmm. And I'm including the women. Just probably. I can get my voice like this. To do the mansion. For a traitor, I don't remember his profession. Certainly I can do the girls. Yeah, but I haven't heard their voices in a while. I don't know why I remember his. He's so high. It sticks out. Damn. <laughs> the kittens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, that was bad. I have to try waffle later. <laughs> Not that I hate. It's a dirty job. Some dogs got to do it. Close. Anyway. Seriously, look it up. Look it up on YouTube, boy. We good. Unless you're willing to pay a thousand dollars without you can get your hands on it. Unless you emulated, emulated it. Or if you want the Japanese version, it's like 30 bucks. Stupid. Whatever. I already read that. What's that? Why does it have to be? What's with? What's that? Why does it have to be him look for? As you may have surmised, this here's my saloon. Uh, we're here to investigate the crime scene. Yeehaw! I caught you got there on your chest. That's better than a sheriff's badge in these parts. Yeehaw! Well, what are you standing there for? Get along, little doggies. Crime scenes are waiting. Looks like the card reader's on here. Oh, we're here. I was wondering if we could ask you some questions. Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind to tangle with you hombres. You're busy, then. Did I say that? I only said I didn't wish to speak with you. Actually, you said you had no mind to tangle with us hombres. Well, if that's the case. That smell. Ah, it reminds me of Texas. That's a... That's as big as I think it is. That's a big Salisbury steak. Goddamn. So, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? No, I just saw a special on television the other day. Is this from my baby? Uh, yeah, Miss Star. Miss Star! W what's this? What? What's wrong? A filet steak lunch. I see. I see. I don't see. I wonder what it means. Steak lunch given Officer Marshall.
<coughs> All right, Bambino, you win. Ask me. Ask me. Oh, my. Oh, my. Finally, it seems like he's willing to talk. God, I want some Salisbury steak now. Hmm. I feel like I gotta have this put in the background of a western game and it would fit just perfectly. Not Red Dead though, it doesn't fit with that. Anyway. Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? Good eyes, partner. It's an easy job, and I'm grateful for it. Actually, Officer Meekins at the detention center. Oh, actually, Officer Meekins at the detention center. Oh. Ah, that poor little doggy. Look, I keep getting his name wrong and calling him Meekly. He told us something. He said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this, but since I got demoted from detective two years ago, well, I might not look at it, but I lost my fire for the job, you know. So, what were you doing around 5.15 when the murder took place? Well, I reckon I was jogging down the highway on the back of my steed, Zippy. No, he was riding on the highway and his horse named Zippy. There's no need for people here, anyhow. These new bang of machines do a bang up job of keeping an eye on the place. You mean the security camera system? I don't take the machines much. Kind of like that skewed broccoli to sneak in your neck. Sneak it next to your steak, you know. Um. Could have been on a horse. I don't actually know. He could have been referring to his car that he named Zippy. Oh. Huh? Could be right. I don't know. I can very well see him on the back of a horse. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm saying the security thing does a bang up job. At, well, only so much. They can break down. They can be hacked. A human can't be hacked. They can break down, but not as easy as a computer can. Like all I have to do is dump water on it. Shorts out. Throw water on a person, they get mad. <laughs> of course, they can't get tired, so you. Combination of both helps. Miss Star told us something. She said that you were a detective until two years ago. It was always my dream to be a rawhide wrangler on the scene of the crime. And it's all gone now, like a drinking hole in a prairie fire. You're still investigating this old night incident with Miss Star, aren't you? That was my case. Sol solved on the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. I can't let it go. That's all there is to it. What kind of case was it, anyway? We've heard the name so many times, but no one tells us what actually happened. There are some things you're better off not knowing, Bambaina. Anyway, that case is officially dead as of two days ago. <clears throat> two days ago, the day of our case. That's right. The evidence transfers. Edgeworth was talking about the transfers, too. I know that maybe two of the machines they were in here do. Only two of them? There must be a dozen! Like I said, Bambina, I mean machines, well, I like them as about as much as I like stewed cauliflower in my steaks. The easiest one to understand are the he's here security cameras. 
Those are the ones in the office that you could mention. Nothing happens, the tapes are automatically erased every few hours. And Officer Meekins and Detective Goodman are there. They are one of the tapes! I reckon they might be. There's a security guard and you reckon? One more thing. When you go into that evidence room, you need an ID card. That's the card reader by the door. The card reader leaves a record of every ID card that passes through here. Wow, whoever got that first ID is very lucky! I mean, if you are superstitious like that. I am, so. Ah, they also went in on the magic number. Power to smoke some of that kush. <laughs> 420. <laughs> ah, the fourth one is Detective Goodman's name. So this is the ID card record. Hey, I've seen that somewhere before. Sorry, Bambin, I can't show you more than that. Hey. I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. Mr. Wright, I saw a number on that record just now. I've seen that number before. Maybe there's a way I can prove that record is tied to the stabbing. Well, before we do that, let's talk about the transfer. -all. Sorry, but could you explain what this whole transfer -all thing is about? <clears throat> we only keep we keep only evidence from solved cases in this room. We kept here under the presiding detective's supervision for two years. So we can reinvestigate them if it turns out there was a mistake, see? So what happens to the evidence after two years? Go to sleep forever in the underground vault in the county sheriff's department. You know, that makes me wonder. How much ev if... I don't know if that's how it's done in real life. I'm assuming some inspiration for this game would came from real life. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I never worked at a police department. I I don't know how much... Well, I haven't worked in general, per se. But I have no idea how that works. I assume that's probably how it works in real life. I don't know. And I wonder how much evidence is in that. <laughs> That's what we call transfer over. Do it every February. Let's see now. Transfer is like a funeral for old cases. Two years after a case is solved, it's closed forever. Dead. Never to be reopened again. Never to be reinvestigated. And that happened in that's online two days ago. Well, I think this should uh prove it. See this? This is the victim's ID card. Ah, the one that was on the ground in the parking lot. The number on this is 584-2189. Officer Marshall, show us that ID card record again. Look, the fourth number, it's a perfect match. It was used at 514, right before the stabbing. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the whole world. So when the incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. But wait, what did Officer Meekins say? Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to. Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to display his ID card. So you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What did he do? That's the thing. Suddenly, he pointed a knife at me. If he had his ID card, then. Why would he have pointed a knife at us and Meekins? <laughs> Alright, compadre, right, you win. Guess I can give you this ID card record. Got an idea. Maybe I should show this list to other people with IDs here. Possibly. Indubitably. Let's check this out quick. ID 59. <clears throat> I wonder what lost item he was looking for. Try to make it, but that says luminal reagent.
It's a spray bottle. Nothing new. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. I thought I could examine it. So, this is a lot of talking. A lot. Rip my throat. Anyway, I believe we talked all we can, so... The target? The car door? What? Fishing pole? Metal detector. Uh, yeah, yeah. February 23rd, evidence room, sector 3. It's quiet. The investigation must be over here. Why is there a... Handcuffs on that card door? So this is the evidence room. It's really... Really is kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. Nice try, Mr. Wright. You can't scare me. Boo. <clears throat> eee! Whoa! Ow. S sorry, I thought you were a ghost. I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts on the head, pal. So, is it true what I heard? Right, on, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Heck, if anybody asks me, sir, can I borrow 50 bucks? I give them 50 bucks? No problem. So go ahead. Investigate the room to your heart's desire. Knock yourself out. Yeah, it's true. So Chief of Police Gate will own anyone 50 bucks? Even me? Oh, so that's what you were talking about? <laughs> Actually, I was put in charge of the investigation for today. Just for today? Boss for a day. But guess what? You got permission of the Chief, so now you're boss for a day. Gee, thanks. <clears throat> First of all, you'll want to have this. Scene of the stabbing of a detective at the PD. Oh. Thought there'd be more. Ooh, actually. Could you take a look at this? This is the ID card record of the people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. Ah, I heard the rumors. So it was Goodman who came in here at the time of the murder. Whoa! What is it? Th that, that, that second number. It's not your ID, is it, Detective? Mr. Edgeworth! What? The second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth! What? Hey, why would Adrian have come to the evidence room? So we have two of the numbers figured out. So we have a card that was used twice. Hmm. So, Detective Gunshield, your boss for the day. That's right, it's an honor. Honor, honor. After all, the murder took place right here in the police department. But if you're boss, why are you all alone? Where are your underlings? Yeah. 
They're using yesterday's findings to prepare for tomorrow's trial. In other words, you got kicked out of the investigation again. I'm adamant, though. I'm gonna go. I'm going to take control and put this case to rest. My own evidence locker, pal. You have a locker in here, too, detective? Aha, uh -huh. of course. I'm a detective, after all. They gave me a locker that only I can open, pal. Brother Eggert, if you haven't seen the enemy, he sounds exactly like he, like he looks. <laughs> only you can open. Eh? Eh? Oh, my Tim Allen? This place is more high-tech than you might think. Every logger is fixed so that only one detective can open it. Using their ID card? Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Why, I'm on my third card since entering the force already. Sounds like a lot. Yeah, but even I can't lose my own right hand. Right hand? Oh! You mean your fingerprint? Exactly, pal. The lock for each locker is coated with a fingerprint. Ow! Ow, my ear. That hurt. That was loud. So the only locker we can open is our own. Funny, they look like normal lockers. These are the latest model. There's a trick to the handles, see? The handles. On the other side of the handles is a sensor, and if the wrong person touches it, zap, you get a shock. That's what happened. My hand would, would be black and smoking every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There are even some people in the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. Hmm. So Edgeworth, eh? I'll always believe in Mr. Edgeworth, no matter what happens. So Mr. Edgeworth is with the is with the inquiry committee right now, now, right? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess up in court today. I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. That case? Yeah, that case. The SL9 incident, of course. <clears throat> that was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case. Maybe. Uh, but what do I show him? I don't know. Make them neat. Bitterman! I just said Goodman's no, unless they changed it. I don't remember, it's been a while. Detective Goodman's note, and that switchblade now. I bet Edgeworth was what about that? I bet Edgeworth was the most surprised of anyone. Got the SL9 connection? That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know. Two years ago. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. Well, why would evidence from that case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case. Maybe. Now that was a bloody violent case. Violent. So what a murder. Serial killing. Serial killing? Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake, and Mr. Edgeworth built his case around that to nab him. And this was two years ago? That put Mr. Edgeworth right in the spotlight. Started the rumor me meal. Rumors. About forged evidence? It was supposed to be all cleaned up by the transfer the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Hey, what do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident, see? So, so that's switchblade knife. The victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself. Okay. So, that's suspicious. There's something sticking out of here. Looks like a shirt. Guess it must be evidence for some case. 
What if Dr. Gumshoe put this here? There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That said, I bet that evidence locker was opened recently. How do you know? If you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard checks on that kind of stuff and notifies the detective responsible. How many times have I had him breathing down my neck for some about some silly evidence? Sounds like Detective Gumshoe leaves evidence hanging out a lot too. I bet he doesn't tuck in his shirt under that trench coat either. If you're gonna talk behind someone's back, don't do it right in front of the pal. Giggity giggity fifties giggity. I wanna know. Whoa, look at this big pile of junk in the corner. That's not what I wanna know. It looks like a car door. It's a pair of handcuffs attached to the frame. Maybe the guy that I caught was some sort of escape artist and he got away. Hey, that's one of them human profiles for range testing. He was shot square in the forehead. Better him than us. Well, what, you're gonna stand at the other end of the shooting range? You derp. Anyway. That'll do it for this episode. Till the next one, I'm Zombie Weasel, stay zombie and I am out!